Hey all, it's another Mr. Rogers screen recording and today I'm going to go over how to format on your Google Docs and place them either on the website or on an InDesign page. Okay, so first off here um, we have a great story on 10 takes of COVID by Ayla and one thing that I noticed was that she was using the standard format of tabs and I'm suggesting a change to block style where we will not have tabs and just a line in between there. And there's two reasons for that. The first reason is there's no tabs on the internet. And the second reason is that it helps us place on InDesign pages. All right, so once I have it formatted like that and I wanna put it on an InDesign page, I will just copy the first part that I fix, Command C, and then head over to my InDesign doc hopefully you're in your creative cloud there remember all of them should be file open creative cloud little hawk may newspaper and a page in there um, and all the photos should be in there just a side note all right so i'm going to make sure i'm on my black arrow uh, zoom in then i am going to delete this text then I'm going to command V paste. And as you can see, it just formatted it perfectly. Then all I have to do is just delete the lines in there. Like that. Now, a lot of times if you're not pasting into a pre-formatted text box, which I hope you are, um, it might be off. So say I want to make this a drop cap. I go up to my paragraph. Right here is going to be my spacing for my tabs. I'm going to change that to zero. Then I'm going to go over here, and these are my drop cap buttons. I'm going to up that to like five. Uh, let's go three, so it doesn't go all the way down on that line. All right, there it is, bam. So and say these a lot of times would be a zero or something like that. I'm going to change my tab to one pica. We want one pica tabs. Bam, like that. Now we have a properly formatted one. Also make sure you have your byline centered and in the text box. All right. Have fun placing your stories.